The Fulents Club were a political grouping that emerged during the French Revolution. It consisted of monarchists and reactionaries who sat on the right of the Legislative Assembly of 1791. It came into existence when the left-wing Jacobins split between moderates, who sought to preserve the position of the king and supported the proposed plan of the National Assembly for a constitutional monarchy, and radicals who wished to press for a continuation of direct democratic action to overthrow Louis XVI. The Fulent deputies publicly split with the Jacobins when they published a pamphlet on 16 July 1791, protesting the Jacobin plan to participate in the popular demonstrations against Louis XVI on the Champs de Mars the following day. Initially the group had 264 ex-Jacobin deputies as members, including most of the members of the Correspondence Committee. The group held meetings in a former monastery of the Fulent monks on the Rue Saint-Honoré in Paris, and came to be popularly called the Club des Fulents. They called themselves the Amos de la Constitution. The group was led by Antoine Barn of Alexandre de Lamp and Adrien Duport. History As the Constitution of 1791 began to take its final shape, Many erstwhile radical deputies such as Le Chapelier and Barn have wished for the central role played by such popular societies as the Jacobins early in the French Revolution to come to an end. The activism of the people had been vital to the preservation of the revolution in the early days of the National Assembly, but their purpose had been fulfilled, and it was time for direct democracy to give way to the leadership of elected representatives. This conviction was greatly affirmed with the Champs de Mars massacre. Within days, a mass exodus of moderate deputies abandoned the Jacobin Club in favor of a new organization, the Fulent Club. This new society would wage a struggle throughout the summer with the Jacobins for the allegiance of the provincial affiliates and the Parisian crowds, a contest they would ultimately lose. According to the Fulent ethos, Popular societies could have no other role than as meetings of friends to hold private political discussions. Their meetings should never step across the threshold of their assemblies and evolve into concerted public political action. Le Chapelier, in his capacity as chairman of the Constitutional Committee, presented to the National Assembly in its final sessions a law restricting the rights of popular societies to undertake concerted political action including the right to correspond with one another. It passed 30 September 1791. By the virtue of obeying this law, the moderate Fulents embraced obsolescence. The radical Jacobins, by ignoring it, emerged as the most vital political force of the French Revolution. In the wave of revulsion against popular movements that followed the Champs de Mars massacre, Antoine Barneuve, through his activity on the Committee of Revisions was able to ingratiate himself and his allies to Louis XVI by securing for the crown such powers as appointments of ambassadors, army commanders, and ministers. The king returns the favor by taking Barnav as his chief advisor. At the opening of the Legislative Assembly, Louis XVI delivers a speech written by Barnav, and for the next six months France is governed by what is known as the Fulent Ministry. In March 1792, in retaliation for their opposition to war with Austria, the Fulent ministers were forced out by the Girondins. Labelled by their opponents as royalists, they were targeted after the fall of the monarchy. In August 1792, a list of 841 members was published and they were arrested and tried for treason. Barnav was guillotined on 29 November 1793. The name survived for a few months as an insulting label for moderates, a royalists and aristocrats. Ideology and Views the Fulent Party was formed to protect a conception of power. Its goals were to neutralize royalists by gaining the support of the moderate right, to isolate the Democrats from the majority of patriotic deputies, to withstand Jacobin influences, and to terminate societies that threatened the nation's independence of the National Assembly. The Fulent Group was against passive citizens being enlisted in the National Guard. They believed the only way to have a strong army was for it to be structured 
by favoring elimination of passive citizens from the National Guard, remaining silent during the debate on the right to petition and post bills, opposing the political emancipation of the blacks. The triumvirs exhausted their popularity within the space of a few months. The group knew if the political emancipation of blacks was passed the main source of France's income would be lost. The sugar fields in Saint-Domingue would be taken over and land would also be lost. Electoral results